pure crafts person, you've obviously got knowledge in a particular area and there's always somebody who needs knowledge and that's why I think craft books is a really good thing for crafters to get into. I kind of felt, you know, I want to make something that hasn't been done before and having seen so many books I could just I just felt there was a bit of a niche to do things that were simple, things that are really easy that anyone could do. And the book is called Bollywood Crafts because I'm a huge fan of Bollywood movies. I mean I love them, I love the colour, I love the look of them, I just love everything about them. If you write something about something you're really passionate about then that's what's going to bring a project together. So I had this concept of making craft projects that were inspired by Bollywood movies and I really thought it could work. So that's why I thought I'm going to write a proposal for this, I'm going to send it to some publishers. And yeah, you know, I got rejected from eight publishers. I think you want to show people they can do different things. It's got a bit of sewing in there, it's got a bit of painting in there, it's got a bit of printing, all different things in there. And they said that wouldn't work because you couldn't shelf it if you had a, a bookshop where would you put it? You can't have mixed craft books. And you know, I didn't believe that. I just thought, you know, I don't think there's people out there who just want something about one thing. They want to read about everything. So I carried on until I found a publisher who sort of was on the same wavelength as me. Pretty much the first time I met them, they gave me a schedule and they basically said, okay, we'll do it if you get it into us by a particular date. So then I had about three or four months um, to just work solidly on this. And I put all my other projects on the side and just did this all day. The exact process took about a whole year. When the book came out, I had really nice um, feedback from it from people who'd seen it. I felt it was a big sense of achievement and I've been able to use it in craft workshops and I've been teaching craft groups as well. We've been using and working with ideas from the book. Craft books are spe uh, specialist books. You, you never read about them getting in the top 10 or anything like that. It, um, my books will never sell to that level. And so I'm just striving to keep writing and I hope that one day I will make a book that's going to appeal to such a mass audience that it will be respected as a really good craft book.